like a propaganda vulgar movie Israeli filmmaker triggers storm uses iffy stage to trash Kashmir files Stars slam diplomats apologize it's it's shameful for him to make a statement like this he has the right to give his own opinion I disagree with him completely the Kashmir files firestorm the big focus on news track as a look at the headlines I'm tracking tonight curtain is down in the first phase of campaigning in Gujarat the state will cast its first vote Thursday Political fireworks erupt over Malika Jun Kharge comparing the Prime Minister to Ravan. High drama in Hyderabad. Telangana Neta Vyas Sharmila arrested after she tried to march towards the Chief Minister's home. She was stowed away while she was sitting in her car. Narco test of Shraddha Walker, murder accused. Aftab to be conducted on the 1st of December. He's undergone Four rounds of lie detector tests so far. Vistara to merge with Air India after the Tata takeover. Singapore International Airlines will invest nearly $250 million into Air India as part of the transaction. Elon Musk accuses Apple of threatening to remove Twitter from its app store claims the tech giant has stopped most of its advertising on the social media platform. The firestorm over the Kashmir files continues to rage on. This after the jury head of the International Film Festival of India called the Vivek Agnihotri directed film a propaganda and vulgar movie. The stars of the film, the Kashmir Pandits, are outraged at the Israeli filmmaker Nadav Lapid's comments. Here is what happened through the day. Vulgar. Propaganda. Inappropriate. Unfit for a prestigious event. These words by the Israeli screenwriter Nadav Lapid on the Kashmir Files movie documenting the genocide of the Kashmiri Pandits. Lapid was invited as the chief of jury at the 53rd International Film Festival in Goa. He, however, went on the stage to single out and target one of the most successful films in India in 2022, The Kashmir Files. We were, all of us, uh, disturbed and shocked by the 15th film, by the movie Kashmir Files, that felt to us like a propaganda vulgar movie inappropriate for an artistic competitive section of such a prestigious film festival. Kashmir has never been an integral part of India. What followed was a massive outcry against the genocide denial. From the Hindu community, the film's cast, and specifically the fans. Lapid was accused of belittling the persecution of the Hindu Kashmiris and their exodus and ethnic cleansing. The truth has bothered certain people and every time they get an opportunity, they come up with this bizarre thing. But I think what happened on the, on the last day of the stage of International Film Festival is shameful on that behalf of that person. if we go why jury ke chairman ne bola ki the kashmir files ek propaganda or vulgar film hai mere liye koi nayi baat nahi hai kyunki is tarah ki baatein to sare terrorist organizations urban nexels aur bharat ke tukde tukde karne wale log hamesha se bolte hi aaye hain lekin mere liye jo ek bahut hi aashcharyjanak baat wo hai ki bharat sarkar dwara aayojit bharat sarkar ke manch pe kashmir ko bharat se alag karne wale terrorist logon ke narrative ko support kiya gaya और उस बात को लेके भारत में ही रहने वाले कई भारतीयों ने उसका इस्तेमाल किया भारत के अगेंस्ट आखिर ये लोग कौन है ये वही लोग हैं जो कश्मीर फाइल्स के चार साल पहले जब मैंने रिसर्च चालू किया था तब से इस फिल्म को प्रोपेगंडा बोल रहे हैं
Israel's envoy to India, knowing the enormity of the controversy, shot a scathing letter at the filmmaker, who is a known sympathizer of the Palestine cause. I, uh, I was there, yes, right in uh, Goa. I was sitting not far away from uh, actually behind uh, Nadav Lapid. And when I've heard uh, his uh, speech, I was in shock, I have to tell you. Uh, I, to enter to internal uh, Indian uh, discussion is something that we are not uh, doing, definitely not, uh, not us as a diplomat. He has uh, the right uh, to give his own opinion. I disagree with him completely. I told him that it was uh, not a nice conversation, uh, let's call it uh, like that. While film actor Swara Bhaskar supported the attack on the Kashmir files, Uddhav Sena called the film a BJP propaganda tool, which led to increased killings of the Hindu Kashmiris. The propaganda was made by a party and a party. It was made by a film. It was made by a whole party and a whole government, where the government of BJP was made by a party, it was made by a party. But after this cinema, there were more killings in the Kashmir in Kashmir. Are Kashmiri Hindus caught in another vicious war over their plight and tragedy? Bureau Report, India Today. One of India's finest actors and the man who played the role of Pushkarnath Pandit in the film The Kashmir Files, uh, Mr. Anupam Kher now joins me live on India Today television. Mr. Kher, I'm quite shocked by the fact that you've got this... Uh, international jury head who's coming to Goa to be a part of IFI coming out and dissing Kashmir files which lakhs of people across the country actually watched and quite enjoyed. Now even if he thought it not to be a good film which is his right to have any opinion on that film, why do you think this played out in the way that it did where you've got the head of the jury coming out and criticizing your film in the manner that he did? It's a sick mind. It's a mind who, which is vulgar. It's a mind which believes in propaganda. Only a person like that can come up with something like this. He has every right as a jury member to criticize the film and to say that I did not like the film, but to choose the platform of International Film Festival of India and make a specific statement like that, I can only say that only a sick person mentally unstable person can do something like this uh, because uh, and also uh, a person who whose uh, people have gone through holocaust for him not to understand the tragedy of genocide of kashmiri hindus and be insensitive towards them i think it's not only horrifying but it's shameful also but we have such people all over the all over the world there, there are some people who would constantly say that but he uh, he he specially chose these words, which is what made me angry, and what has made millions of people angry about it, because uh, he had an agenda in his mind, and he was obviously uh, specific and directing his statements to some people, who will then jump up and sort of say. Uh, okay, yes, look at this international jury member or chairman, he said this, so whatever, what we have been saying, uh, who I call toolkit gang, uh, um, they have uh, responded to it. But uh, apart from that, there is no truth in uh, what he is saying because uh, not even, we don't have to even give it any respect by even talking about that. But it's upsetting, it's, uh, it's, uh, hum uh, it's, it's hurtful. And it is sad that somebody should make a statement like that. But to use the Kashmir platform Hindus of an international film knows. festival for such crass propaganda, because this is a film that was waiting to be told. It's a film that touched a very deep chord with people across the country. Now to come out and diss it in this fashion when you've been invited as a guest to come and make a public spectacle of it, this seems to be very, very politically motivated. It's pre-planned also, Rahul. It looks like pre-planned also. If he felt something like this, he could have done it on his uh, Twitter handle or on an Instagram handle that I was a jury member and this is what I thought. But for him to take out a paper and read out his statement, it was a it uh, it does come across as a very pre-planned uh, kind of a thing. He did want to have this impact and he did want to sort of. Uh, 
take away the tragedy of so many people and uh, give it a twist and give it an interpretation which only as i said in the beginning a mentally unstable person will do and i'm calling him mentally unstable because um, not because and i'm res very responsibly saying that because uh, no human being uh, will say something like this you we have a very right to uh, not like a film there are people who may sort they then that fine it was not but you have been invited to be the jury chairman you have been asked to there is certain decorum that you use you don't use this kind of a uh, uh, foul and filthy and loose statements about a film being giving an interpretation so i think it's uh, it it was uh, it was unfortunate that it happened on the last day of film festival i attended the film festival i was there for two days i was very proud of the fact that the way festival was done i said wow we finally reached a stage where we are conducting our international film festival with so much of um, administrative skills and so much of finesse and so much of professionalism and look at the uh, it it was supposed to be also the night of for the people uh, the series which I, i like very much they were going to show their first episode the main lead actor was there whole thing of 10 days work has gone down the drain by this one single statement of this person no but let's take for the for example and i've seen all the episodes of for the which have been aired so far in those seasons you know either you can say it's very well made it's gripping it's a fantastic watch or somebody can turn around and say it's propaganda for the israelis uh portraying the isis or portraying the uh palestinians in a particular way the fact is a lot of what is shown is true it's shown from a certain point of view and that's the whole idea of filmmaking or making any of these serials that the director the actors they show uh events yeah, will, and depictions would, I... in the way that they see it so what is propaganda and what is a good film the i no i would like to ask through you that will he call schindler's list a absolutely. vulgar propaganda film absolutely will he call the pianist a vulgar uh, propaganda film will he call life is pie li li life is beautiful a uh, vulgar will he have the courage to do that to go to america uh, and call schindler's list or go to israel and call that but he chose this because obviously he had some support or the other that's how i want to say unless he lost his balance at that particular moment no but from what i've been researching i didn't know much about nadav lapid before this but he seems to be somebody who has these kind of views and has expressed them in the past do you think that's something also for the organizers to reflect on who was called in as the jury chair at ifi to phir shayad to main hindi mein iska jawab dena chahunga to rahul shayad usko har platform pe jute khane ki aadat hai वो ऐसी स्टेटमेंट देता है उसको जूते पड़ते होंगे हर जगह अब यहाँ भी ऐसी स्टेटमेंट दी है उसको जूते तो पड़े रहे हैं एटलीस्ट बहुत सारे लोग जो मैं जिनसे मैंने बात की है तो या तो उसको अच्छा लगता है कि मैं कम समाइम पीपल वॉन्ट टू स्टैंड आउट बाई मेकिंग ए स्टेटमेंट लाइक दैट सम पीपल वॉन्ट टू बी नोटिस्ड बट दे आर गेटिंग नोटिस फॉर ऑल द रॉन्ग रीजन इट्स 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 ए परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ पीपल यू सी सिंस कश्मीर फाइल्स हैज कम इट इज it has affected it has impacted people so strongly that people who were trying to sort of put forward a kind of a, a narrative which sort of which was a different narrative this film did impact that narrative this film did show the tragedy of kashmiri hindus hindus this film did show uh, that uh, 500000 people were Uh, thrown out of their own ha homes on the 19th of January 1990 so it did derail the 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 agenda of certain section of people in in India or maybe internationally also so uh, so they needed to sort of make that uh, redundant and sort of make a statement like this otherwise the moment statement made how come there was it suddenly within 30 seconds uh, this thing started trending because there were people who were prepared i'm sure that's why it was pre planned people were told uh, that this will uh, and i'm not just talking through my hat you and i have been now in this profession in a various and i say social media profession you know more about it that the hin they knew and it started trending all the people came out of their cocoon and their uh, No, but it's not just the social media trolls. What has happened? 
a lot of political parties including the principal opposition have also had their leading lights come out and cite what this uh, israeli filmmaker has said and say see what the israelis or making it seem as if the israelis feel this way even though it's just one particular uh, filmmaker nadav lapid who said it but this is given political ammunition to some of the opposition parties Yeah, obviously uh, that they will they, why, why do you think that they will not they were not part of this toolkit gang any they were in any case uh, saying this is all uh, this is all a propaganda film they were why will they use this why will he use these words these are the words which are which certain section of people uh, the political party people so called also have been using you had a chief minister of a, of a, of a, of delhi who said this film should be put on youtube so i'm sure uh, he must be also very happy you have uh, you have other political leaders who must have uh, uh, waiting for something like this to happen anything to make the government of uh, of the present government which is right now in the ruling party to make to embarrass them but they do not remember that they not only they are embarrassing them or trying to embarrass them they are also taking away the sensitivity towards so many of people who are victim of terrorism all over the world forget about kashmiri hindus even muslims who are a victim of kashmir uh, of uh, uh, violence or terrorism uh, they are being uh, insensitive towards them all okay, all these people and uh, it's the usual suspects i'm going to leave it over there Sorry, you make that point about schindler's list uh, about fauda as well which was the star attraction at this international film festival now is that propaganda is it gripping is it really well made i mean ultimately uh, it is for people to choose and in the case of kashmir files you have to respect the fact that lakhs of film goers across the country have come out and they watch the film is one of the biggest bollywood hits the numbers speak for themselves and that is something you simply have to reflect and as far as propaganda you can literally call anything propaganda if that is your political cause anupam kher for coming out speaking strongly as you always do thank you so much for taking out time for india today appreciate this thank you sir the lead actor of the kashmir files calling this propaganda by the toolkit gang led by the opposition joining me on the news track representing the shiv sena rajya sabha member of parliament spokesperson of the shiv sena uddhav bala saheb thakre priyanka chaturvedi squaring off against her shaina nc of the bjp uh, we've got shudeep to sen who's a member of the ifi jury is a filmmaker himself and ashok pandit who will present a contra perspective so let me go across to priyanka chaturvedi first because the government the likes of vivek agnihotri also anupam kher calling this a uh, hit job against the government of the day led by the opposition part of a toolkit gang working at cross purposes with this government how do you respond from that with that let's start from there you know the problem in the country is that the narrative has been reduced to anyone critical of the government is critical of the nation anyone critical of narendra modi ji is criticizing the nation the nation and the government are two separate things the government is elected every 5 years and that cannot be interspersed with the country and that is the main difference similarly we are seeing what happened with kashmiri pandits is being reduced to just a movie one of the various movies you you he was ma- making a point about schindler's list being criticized i think if you just do a basic google search criticism about schindler's list you'll find thousands of them are we saying are we seeing a movie that was oriented towards profit making because none of them have been none of the proceeds have gone towards rehabilitating kashmiri pandits has was the intent was that while bringing out certain uh, facts of history uh is something that uh, is about kashmiri pandits how has it changed the lives of kashmiri pandits and when i talk about the government of india and i say it with authority because i have got these answers from the parliament three question are debates that we have in the parliament whether it is about rehabilitation of kashmiri pandits whether it is about ensuring that because in 2014 and a post article 370 removal the promise was that kashmiri pandits would be re- able to return back to their home have they returned back to their homes you will get the answers in the various questions that i've asked and they have not out of the 800 families that chose to stay in kashmir post the 90s uh, uh, exodus are now moving out in the year 2021 22 they are choosing to move out because they feel unsafe lots of these government employees that became a part of the uh, prime minister package are now feeling insecure because they have been victims of targeted killings 
and again i would want to repeat 6000 homes were promised during the prime minister uh, when P pm package was announced for kashmiri pandits it has only managed to complete 15% of its now, target now the my, question my question is not about second yes. uh, just let me complete Go my on. question is not about a movie there would be a criticism coming anyone's way but uh, connecting it to only the, the that entire kashmiri pandit exodus has been questioned i'm sorry nobody is challenging that nobody is challenging the terrorism that was faced by, through islamist terrorism in jammu and kashmir nobody questioned the facts of the uh, entire uh, you know events that happened and unfolded in 1990s what he's talking about is a movie which he felt and the jury felt that was disturbing as well as more propaganda driven so i do not know why we reducing the kashmiri pandits issues and their rehabilitation justice uh, that they seek to just a movie and why we debating no, so that there two the separate issues the fact that more why, needs to be done for kashmir issue no, kashmiri you have pandits made a movie on kashmiri is not in question and their rehabilitation yes. so sure, have sure. you made a movie about what happened to the kashmiri pandits in the hope that they, there would be closure and there would be some action taken i want to understand from you and through your channel and through this discussion what has changed for them no Sure, I that's a good question. Go I let China respond to, to that question. And tell me, is, those are good questions. Debating, debating, yeah, has enough been done? Has statement? enough not been done? So those are good questions. We're focusing on what Nadav Lapid said and China NC. Just a very basic search on the guy would say he has a love-hate relationship with his homeland. He said about Israel, the collective soul of Israel is a sick soul. Something in the deepest essence of Israeli existence is false. It's rotten. it's not just netanyahu this is about all of israel i think this israeli sickness or nature is characterized by young israeli men smiling muscular who don't have any questions who don't raise any questions who don't have any doubts uh, they have a dichotomous vision of existence he said all of this in an interview to a toronto based uh, magazine now shaina he is the man of all people who could have been chosen to be the international jury head he is the man who is officially picked to come and this in some senses seem to be a self made embarrassment rahul firstly let me please say as the juror he is welcome to make comments on technical aesthetic sure. quality the of social course. cultural relevance of the film but having no knowledge of what kashmiri pandits have gone through and not having the basic sense of what happened in the 90s with the exodus and who were these islamic terrorists from pakistan who were responsible he makes statement after statement and please let me quote what his own israeli ambassador has said he says that i am no film expert but this insensitive presumptuous for him to speak about historic events before deeply studying them and which are an open wound in india because many of those involved are still around and paying the price for it this is the statement <coughs> of the israeli ambassador now my limited point is no but you didn't answer my question why invite this Anupam man who has a as the very very bitter film. track record with his own country who is known to be a trouble maker Why invite him as the head of your jury? So you have said that you know uh, uh, why did we invite? If we didn't yeah. invite or didn't invite is a secondary question. Here we're discussing. You have somebody who comes to India and makes a statement which is so distasteful and shameful because he doesn't even know the historical facts. what happened to the kashmiri pandits in the 90s has been depicted in this film as has been done by a schindler's list or during the holocaust so if he is here to make a political comment and to gain traction with sensational commentary it needs to be despised it needs to be spoken against unequivocally do sure. understand the filmmaker has made a film it's insensitive to speak without knowing basic historic facts so my limited point is now that he has come and made this statement the ambassador has made a counter statement it is for us as a country to stand united and speak unitedly this is the international forum which is taking cognizance of a, a mad hatter's comment if you want to call it or somebody who should have been sudeep to said you were at the ifi as one of the jury members other members what happened even speak What he do you make of the manner in which uh, this uh, particular filmmaker ended up saying what he did? You were there. Give us your sense of what happened. Uh, 
Rahul, we were given 22 films to judge. Okay. And uh, this is out of more than 450 entry uh, this year, uh, this edition of EP. And uh, if you know the know the procedure, irrespective of the place, the, all the international film festivals like Cannes, Berlin, Rotterdam, Toronto, we have a practice that we are given a certain number of films, which is something close to 20 to 25. This year, we have 22 films. 15 films for the international competition and seven films for the debut directors now out of these 22 films we are supposed to give six awards and the, these awards are best film best director best actor best actress a special jury award and the best debut director mm -hmm. so from 20th of november to 26th of november we watched all these 22 films categorically sometime we repeat those because you have to understand rahul this year, one of the entry was the film of Christoph Janusi. If you know the name, he is the tallest filmmaker in the in the world today. The living legend, uh, Christoph Janusi. His film was featuring in that the list of the 22 film competing for international competition. Unfortunately, we could not give award to that film also. So you can imagine how difficult was the whole. Uh, 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 the, 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 the decision making process. So all six days, seven days, we watch the film, we discuss the technical aspects, we discuss the cultural aspects, aesthetical sub aspects of the film, socio-political impacts of the film, and finally, unanimously, we, we reach to the conclusion that these five films, which got the six award, one film got two awards, and rest four got four awards. So all this decision was unanimous, and on the next day, that is 27th, at 10 o'clock in the morning, we presented an official presentation to the festival authority, which includes the NABC chairman, uh, uh, CEO, the festival director, the government of India representatives. And it was an official presentation by the jury board. We five were present there. And that was uh, after that, within next half an hour, we had a press conference where we five were sitting there on table in front of the uh, uh, a, a journalist from all over the world. It was a packed house press conference. We had a wonderful discussions with the press, and there ends our job. We have handed over the our our, okay. our to the authority. Now, after that, we are no more part of the jury board, but definitely we are designated as the juries. So we were given the opportunity to present uh, the awards in the stage. So. As other juries, one from uh, the Pascal Chauvins from uh, France, uh, 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 Xavier from uh, Spain, uh, 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 Goto from, uh, he's an Oscar nominee uh, from US, uh, Nadev and me. So we were divided, uh, you know, presented the award the citation there. Now you have to understand, so far we were talking about the films which got the awards. 70, 18 films we could not give awards. That includes Kashmir File, that includes uh, Christoph Janusi's film. So that is the practice, that is the ethics of a festival that we talk about the films which got awards. We don't talk about the film which didn't get awards. So why did Nadav Lapid stand up and start Rahul, dissing? Rahul, you have to give me just two, one yeah, so minute, two complete. How did he start dissing uh, Kashmir File's propaganda? Suddenly, oh. suddenly, Nadav went to that uh, 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 the podium to talk about the film which is a Kashmir file, which was not part of the uh, uh, films which got award. So it was unethical. It was not, he was not supposed to talk about any film there. He was supposed to talk about the, the process we gone through. So, so far everything, whatever had happened in the, in the jury board room, that closed room, it was all we agreed together and we did the decision together. But suddenly in front of that, uh, the, the, the distinguished guests, the chief minister, ministers, suddenly he, uh, in a self-styled way, the way he has done from years uh, throughout the world in his in his country also, he gone uh, he gone and say these words vulgar. So to me, a filmmaker whom we have given the opportunity to speak on the podium, we have given opportunity to come uh, in the in front of five thousand film lovers. I think this is vulgar. What he did in the oh, sure. In the what he did is vulgar, 
but it also seems Ashok Pandey that someone should have done better due diligence. Here's a man who's a history shitter in terms of making such kind of vulgar comments. We've given him a platform to come out and diss us. Some of this should have been anticipated and better prepared for, don't you think? Uh, good evening, Rahul. Uh, Rahul, see, uh, we are looking things at a very surface level. Okay. That uh, he did this and he spoke, spoke about the film and all that. There is an entire strategy behind the, the statement which is issued. There is a proper planning under which he has issued the statement. The reasons are to damage the country and to undermine the exodus and genocide of Kashmiri Pandits. Now you cannot, you cannot differentiate between or keep two things apart as far as Kashmir Files is concerned and his statement is concerned. What is Kashmir Files, Rahul? Kashmir Files is a depiction of true depiction of what happened to Kashmiri Pandits in the 1980s, late 80s and 90s. It is about my genocide. It is about my ethnic cleansing. It is about my exodus. It is 25% of what exactly happened to us. 75% is not shown. So, an entire lobby which is uncomfortable with the truth which has come out in the open is suffering. So there are people, the enemies within our country and enemies outside our country who are out there to defend Vivek Agni Otri, to defend this thought process, to defend the entire truth which has, been, which has come out in the open. 2002, I made a film called Sheen. I made a documentary. They, it, was, it was tabled down. It was, it was condemned. It was not allowed to come out in the open because they were powerful people. Today, the times have changed. Today, everything is on the media. Everything is on the social media. So the, 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 uh, the way Kashmir files has disturbed their narrative. They are, they are, they are totally claustrophobic. Now, Rahul, I want to ask one more thing before I end. I want to ask as a filmmaker or as a citizen of this country, one, the silence of the film industry on the attack on a filmmaker and his creativity. There's a total silence. Number two, I held responsible the director of, film, uh, director of festi fe uh, festivals and the INB ministry to take action against those people who are responsible to bring this man as a chairman of the jury. They, they have to own the responsibility. They cannot run away from the responsibility. Let China NC respond to that. British it's not as if he stood up at some terrorism. private forum he has uh, to make terrorism. these comments. He was invited uh, Raul, uh, as the Raul. chief, as the head of the jury to Raul. our film festival without any basic checks about this man. That seems to be a big miss, China. Rahul, Rahul, he has supported terrorism Rahul, I'll just make by condemning this film, by, co ah. by calling this film as propaganda. Is, 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 is. Let Rahul, China NC respond to the important questions you make. And calling it vulgar. So, Rahul, I will only say that this is obviously a toolkit mafia that seems to be working. They have worked in the past too. This is not going to deter India, so to say or one comment of one loose cannon is not going to completely change the... No, but you're not answering fact, my question, China. You're deflecting. One has the question is, Kashmir we files. invited him, my we point, didn't check no, his no, background no, no. or track record, and he's deflecting. come to our forum and he's dissing us in this fashion, and it's not as if he's done it for the first time, so it comes as a surprise. He has a past track record of doing exactly this, and yet for some reason he's the one who was picked. To be the head of the jury, he's not standing in some random town square and saying this. He was picked and invited as the head of the jury. Explain why. So, how can you hold us responsible when there were four jury members present at this press conference who chose not to speak? And obviously, there was a collective opinion which Mr. Lapid was just to be presenting on technical aspects and all kinds of other issues which were more technical in nature. <coughs> Having said that, if he has chosen to use this forum for uh, to represent a pro complete propaganda, if he uh, talks about uh, you know blinkers on for the Holocaust, but he's not accepting what Kashmir Files is showing vis-a-vis -vis Kashmiri pundits and the horrific terrorist 
artists that were part of this entire uh, film which were portrayed as Pakistan and which is an obvious fact and where you have the ambassador of Israel come out and apologize on his behalf. I think it's important Ashok for Pandit, us to China understand China makes the point that, you know, why, why blame the organizers? If to. they get people with the same point of view, then others will say, oh, they only fill the jury up with bucks. There should be diverse points of view. Why hold this guy's views against him? He's entitled to his points of view. Why should the organizers have to explain? But Rahul, he's used this for Rahul, his own agenda, which we need record. to highlight. If you this is his own agenda. Let Ashok speak, please. Rahul, if you see his track record, the entire media has been quoting his statements before this. If a proper research would have been done, see, you are, you are handing over a chairman of a jury of one of the biggest festivals of the world. That's iffy. You cannot hand over the reins on a, to a person who has been a Palestine supporter and who has been issuing statements left, right and center. He is a politician, more than a filmmaker. How can you don't you could have found great filmmakers apart from him? So when he has done this, the government of India has to own the responsibility. You cannot run away from the responsibility. He is there on the stage which India has given him. He has abused the filmmaker. He has abused the country by saying that this film is a propaganda and vulgar. He is called my genocide vulgar. He is called my ethnic cleansing vulgar. He has abused me, my identity. He has supported terrorism. So the, 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 the damage which he has done to this country, the damage which he has done to a filmmaker, the damage which he has done to a cause of a community, somebody has to take the responsibility. Okay, sure. And Questions have been asked, answers will be sought. We will track Thanks what happens all. next, absolutely, as it absolutely must. For the time being, Shudip Tosen, uh, Priyanka Chaturvedi, Shaina NC, Ashok Pandit for joining me on the news track. Thank you very much. I want to show you now excerpts of uh, Lior Raz's uh, interview with my colleague Shivarur. He is the lead actor for Fauda. Fauda, as I'm sure many of our viewers would have seen, is a very gripping account of Israel's counter-terrorism war. And in fact, if you're calling Kashmir files propaganda, then isn't Fauda propaganda? I mean, who calls? What is propaganda? I mean, it's something that they've made. It's something which a lot of people are watching. It's something which the community feels very strongly about and people have enjoyed. Remember, Kashmir files made 250 crore rupees. So obviously, there's a bulk of people who went out and watched it. And even those who didn't are entitled to their view. Here is Leo Raz speaking to India today. A, a show or a film... Uh, can also be weighed by how much people talk about it, how much people remember it, the kind of impact it has, L very much like Fauda did. You know, there's a film here in India, and I'm sure you've heard of it because it's created a bit of a controversy at the IFI festival as well, called Kashmir Files, uh, you know, where a filmmaker from Israel called Nadav Lapid, you know, uh, went up on stage and called it vulgar and propaganda. I wondered if you had any thoughts about that because it's triggered a huge amount of outrage here in India. First of all, if you're not part of the Indian culture, and if you're not, if you don't really, really, really know what's going on here, don't say anything. This is what I think. Do you th do you think uh, Nadav Lapid should take back his words because you know the Israeli ambassador has said that you know this is uh, an insult to your hosts and things like that? Do you think it was inappropriate? I don't know. Listen, I don't. I, even me, I don't really understand what's going on, and I don't really know what is. So I'm not talking about it because. I don't know. So, so if you don't know yeah. about the subjects, don't say anything about it. And this is what I'm doing now because I don't know anything about this subject. So I prefer to honor you guys for hosting me here. And I cannot say anything that I don't understand. Okay, I'm slipping into a break. When I come back, Gali Politics Speaks is campaigning for phase one of the Gujarat polls comes to an end. Malika Jun Kharge compares the Prime Minister to Ravan. BJP hits back hard. Details on the other side. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
ले पर बाहर तो दस लोग हैं दस हो या पूरी बस अब तो बस वन है तो डन है इसको कोई वॉचो वॉच कराओ जब वॉचो में मिले ढेर सारे ओडिटी एप्स एक ही प्लान में तो हर कोई बोलेगा वॉचो वन है तो डन है वॉचो प्लान स्टार्टिंग एट जस्ट फॉर टू रुपीज पर मंथ आज ही सब्सक्राइब करें और पाए सिलेक्ट प्लान आरोप एक महीना कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री News is about putting people first. Just look at the queues right across. About asking the right questions to those in power. Is money power being used to bring down elected governments? Who will be held accountable for ministerial corruption? It takes no sides. Maa ka dard ek dard koi nahi samajh sakta us dard ko. It reveals. It heals. Angry people came out on the streets. Is this the kind of justice system we want in this country? News is all heart. And no hatred. बिल्कुल इस बार आज क्या कहना चाहेंगी आप? हमारे साथ जो हुआ है किसी के साथ भी नहीं होना चाहिए. Experience the news with me, Rajdeep Sardesai, only on India Today. Everyone's busy finding what's trending. You're busy finding out why. India Today for those who research before reacting. Download the India Today app now. News today with me, Rajdeep Sardesai. We'll have another special from the riverfront in Ahmedabad. Campaigning has ended for the first phase in Gujarat. What do the young in Gujarat really want? Also, the big collegium debate has split the judiciary wide open. Do we need a change in the system for appointing judges? And Kashmir files the movie in another controversy. All that and much more on the news today. You on board the news track the fight for Gujarat has got downright personal and ugly as the curtains came down on campaigning for the first phase of elections Malik Arjun Kharge compared the prime minister to Ravan earlier he termed the prime minister to jhooton ka sardar the bjp is now saying that the congress is using insults against the prime minister and a son of gujarat first he called prime minister modi a leader of lies kyu jhoot bolte hain log kyu disha bhool karte ho सच बोलो सच बोल के वोट लो एंड नाउ ही इज कॉल्ड प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी रावण हर जगह कितने हैं भाई क्या आपके रावण के जैसा सौ मुख है क्या है कांग्रेस प्रेसिडेंट मल्लिकार्जुन खड़गे हैज सेट ऑफ अ पॉलिटिकल टॉर्नेडो इन बैटल ग्राउंड गुजरात ओवर हिज अटैक्स ऑन प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी After accusing Prime Minister Modi of garnering votes by invoking sympathy for his poor background, now Kharge has called Modi a Ravan, and here's why. हर वक्त अपने ही बात करते हैं। आप किसी को मत देखो, मोदी को देखकर वोट दो। अब भाई तुम्हारे को तुम्हारी सूरत कितनी बार देखना? कॉरपोरेशन में भी तुम्हारी सूरत देखना? एमएलए इलेक्शन में तुम्हारी सूरत देखना एमपी इलेक्शन में भी तुम्हारी सूरत देखना हर जगह 
कितने हैं भाई क्या आपके रावण के जैसा सौ मुख है क्या है द बीजेपी रिएक्टेड शॉर्टली टू द कॉमेंट Reminding the nation of Congress's Nietzsche and Modka Sodagar jibes in the past, and accusing the party of insulting the pride of Gujarat. Malika Jun Kharge ji ne ye bol raha raha hai ki mera saath koi chai nahi pita hai. To ho sakta hai Rahul ji unka saath chai nahi pita hai abhi tak. Ho sakta hai ki Congress mein aspishata ka practice kiya jata hai. तो खड़गे जी का यह बयान का बात राहुल जी को एक ट्वीट करना चाहिए विथ ए पिक्सर बैक डेटेड कि ओ और खड़गे जी एक साथ चाय पी रहा है उन्होंने माननीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को रावण कहा है और मुझे लगता है इससे बड़ी दृष्टता इस प्रकार के भाषा का प्रयोग इस प्रकार का गाली गलोच अपने प्रधानमंत्री के लिए करना और वह भी गुजरात के सपूत के लिए ऐसे शब्दों का प्रयोग गुजरात में खड़े होकर करना यह उचित नहीं है हम कहते रहे कि आतंक को टारगेट करो लेकिन कांग्रेस की सरकार आतंक को नहीं मोदी को टारगेट करने में लगी रही Kharge string of comments come even as Prime Minister Modi lashed out at Congress for constantly targeting and insulting him accusing the opposition of focusing on him instead of real issues Congress wala ke je a Modi ne ni aukat batavi deshu aukat Modi ko uski aukat dikha denge अहंकार जो भाई अहंकार जो मोदी को उसकी औकात दिखा देंगे हमेशा क्लेम करते हैं मैं गरीब हूँ मैं वो हम भी गरीब है हम तो गरीब से गरीब है हम तो अछूतों में आते हैं कम से कम थे मैं तो हमारी चाय तो कोई पीता है मेरी चाय भी नहीं पीता कोई The political temperatures are soaring in Gujarat and while largely the war of words has so far been restricted to the Aam Aadmi Party and the BJP Congress now has thrown its hat in the controversy ring Your report India today This is where I wrap up the news track tonight for your time and your trust thank you very much look forward to seeing you at 8 pm tomorrow evening till then from all of us here goodbye good night